from work. Let's go inside and get this cozy, chill weekend started. Okay, we're home now and let's get into the vlog. So this weekend we're filming a vlog and we're just gonna relax all weekend. I have been going through it um, these past couple weeks and it's not getting any better for a couple weeks, but I just want to take the weekend to myself. So we're gonna read, we're gonna journal, we're gonna pack some Pango book orders because I have been selling my books on Pango books. We're gonna watch some K-dramas and we're gonna enjoy the weekend. I'm currently reading Jade City. It is a adult fantasy following a family of gang members. There's two gangs. Both gangs have these people called Green Bones and they are like, they can use Jade to do like magic, make themselves faster, stronger, et cetera, et cetera. We're following multiple characters from the gang called No Peak and their rivals, the mountains. We haven't gotten any point of views from any mountain characters, but shit's going down. I'm like halfway through it and it's quite emotionally taxing. Something very bad just happened. So I might take a step back from that. And then I'm also reading, listening to the audiobook for The Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Halfway through that, it's good. It's about a girl who is the daughter of the moon goddess. And in the beginning of the book, they find out that she exists and she wasn't supposed to. She's immortal. She get, she has to leave the moon palace and she gets stranded. Um, and she becomes the companion to the prince. Good. I would say the writing is very lush. The world is beautiful, but the plot itself and the characters aren't that compelling. Um, so it's just like one of those good, easy reads. My camera's about to die, so we're going to talk again later. But that's what I'm currently reading. Um, and I'm excited to get into the weekend. I might start my reread of the second Crescent City book um, or one of the Throne of Glass books. I'm undecided, but I'm feeling a reread of something, even though I have so many library books that I need to get to. Um, and then I'm also hoping to start Shadow of the Gods. So a lot going on this weekend, but we'll talk later. Okay, I haven't done anything, but we have a package to open that I'm very excited about. Hold on. Okay, so my video cut out and I didn't even realize it, but I got it on. This is what it looks like on. Pops all the way out. I think it is so cute. There's like a mini option and a big option. I got the mini option. I love it so much. I will leave it down below. Let's look like, let's look at it, what it looks like on the phone.
morning, happy Saturday. Um, yesterday I managed to finish my K-drama finally. <laughs> um, I'm very bad at finishing things because I always like get a little apprehensive about things ending. Um, so I tend not to finish TV shows, <laughs> hence my obsession with Supernatural since I was like seven and I still haven't watched the final episode. <laughs> um, so I finished my K-drama and I started a new book. Last night we thought that we were able to take Bane's cone off. Unfortunately, we weren't. Um, and we take in the information that is provided to us and we make decisions and then when new information comes up, we change our minds. Um, it was a moment that I had to deal with emotionally because I felt really bad. Um, but he was man he he was able to clean himself, which he hasn't been able to do for like a week. Um, so that was good. And technically I can take the cone off when I'm supervising him, but we just decided to put it on and keep it on because we don't feel comfortable. Like we don't want him messing with anything. So that was like a whole emotional moment for me that I had to deal with. Um, but I'm okay this morning. Um, he's okay this morning. And yeah, we're gonna continue as planned. His The end of his medication is tomorrow night. Um, so after that, it's just waiting for his follow-up appointment. So that's that. And I liked the ending to um, business proposal. I do feel like it was a little bit rushed. Um, it was a little bit odd that there were so many plot lines at the end, but they rushed the actual ending. So, yeah. And then I also decided to start the Stardust Thief. I um, read a little bit of Jade City and I just couldn't do it. It's a very tense part in the book right now, a very emotional part, and I just cannot deal with it. I desperately want to read, but every time I pick it up, I just feel like this dread that I just don't wanna deal with right now um but i'll get back to it so i decided to, i decided to start stardust stardust thief because i figured this would be a little bit more light and fun and i am 81 pages in and so far i was correct so this is about lu lai lu lai i believe this is like middle eastern inspired mythology or something like that but she is a what people call a midnight merchant which is people that can get like illegal magical goods um artifacts and stuff and she has a jinn bodyguard and then the king the sultan is trying to find this magical artifact we haven't quite figured out why and i think he like recruits her and then we have the point of view of mazon mezon mezon who is the Sultan's third son, and I believe Luli's, Luli's um, love interest. And then we also have a third point of view of someone who works for the second son's, like, Jin Hunter group. Um, it's like a police task force, and from what I gather, the second son is, like, not the best person. Um, and I believe they have to go on an adventure and all that. So I'm very much enjoying this. I got 80 pages in last night when I finally just started, when I finally decided to start, start it. Um, can't talk. And I'm definitely planning on continuing it. I am just looking for something fun, a little bit breezy and interesting. And this seems very much like the Dababod trilogy. Um, which is one of my favorite fantasy series of all time. So if it can give the same energy, I'm very much here for it. It has some of the same plot points, like plot threats, um, but obviously like it's a different story. It has its own merits, its own everything. So I'm not gonna compare it too much, but this the storylines are similar in some ways. So I definitely am gonna focus on reading this today. Um, my plan is to get some cleaning done today and I also want to go to UPS and drop off these Pango, the books that I um, sold. And then I also need to stop by the library and pick up 
a book that I reserved. Um, so we'll see if I actually end up getting out of the house. Like I do want to get these books shipped because I want people, like I want it to be a fast turnaround. Um, I listed them on Thursday, I think. And I want them to be out and like having shipped um, before the weekend is out, but we'll see if I have the energy to, to do it. Um, but yeah, so that is the situation for the day. And I do have some laundry that I need to do. I did some last night, but I need to like fold it and stuff. Um, and I do need to clean up this room a little bit. Um, cause I haven't wanted to vacuum cause I don't want to like stress Bane out. But now that he's feeling a little bit more lively, I feel better like putting him out there and then vacuuming and cleaning up this area. So it definitely is looking a little rough because of his cone. He hasn't been able to eat like normally. So there's like food and stuff everywhere. Um, and I need to clean the bedding that he's been laying on. So that's that. We're going to do laundry. We're going to possibly go to UPS today and then we're going to read. So we'll talk. Okay. Hello. Hi vlog. It is me. I'm here. I uh, look, oh, what is my hair doing? Hello. How's it going? Don't look behind her. You'll have to see that in a video. Subscribe to her YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Tamika Ray. I'll leave a link down below. That's me. Hello. <laughs> I don't feel like breaking out my big camera, but we are going to wrap up the vlog here. It's been a pretty relaxing weekend. I did some chores this morning that made me feel good. I got nice and showered. I did all my chores and now I can spend the rest of Sunday editing this video and relaxing. I did read a little bit of Stardust Thief. I got 180 pages in and I'm very much enjoying this. This is going to be a strong four star, possibly five star. We'll see how it goes, but definitely really liking it. And then I also read a little bit of Jade City, um, and that's getting very good, better than it even has been thus far. Um, so definitely enjoying that. But 
that's kind of it for this vlog my intentions for this vlog what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day um i did manage to clean litter boxes and um do my sheets so that was like my chores for the day and yeah thank you so much for watching the vlog i hope you enjoyed spending the weekend with me and um if you're looking for more content you can subscribe if you want more content like this i tend to do vlogs focused on my life mental health all of that kind of stuff you can follow me on instagram and goodreads thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next one mm -hmm.